Hi, I'd like to have 64 Bacardis on the rocks. Si, senor. Uh, all for you? Yes, all, all for me, thank you. Oh, well, how do you want to carry them? With my bionic arm. Everybody, my wife here with another edition of Amiga Retro Games, and this time round we're doing the classic Bionic Commando. Just my microphone here a bit, so you can all hear me properly. And the reason why I'm doing Bionic Commando because there's a lot of talk on the console scene at the moment about the up-and-coming uh, new game for Xbox Live Arcade called Bionic Commando. Rearmed, sorry, Bionic Commander Rearmed, which is coming soon to the Xbox Live Arcade. It's been mentioned many a time on various podcasts like One Up and Cranky Gamers UK and etc. etc. But we're going to go back to the beginning uh, with Bionic Commando, the originals, and specifically with the Amigo version, which you'll see some game footage of shortly. Now, <clears throat> what is Bionic Commando? Well, Bionic Commando. Um, is the name of several video games, in fact, beginning with an arcade game produced and released by Capcom back in 1987. It was uh, later then released for several home computer platforms, including the Amiga, and that was ported by Software Creations and published by Go. More widely regarded is the sequel, uh, Top, Se Top Secret Hitler's Revival, and it was released in Japan for the Nintendo NES. Further sequels have also appeared on the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. Uh, these two games being more closely related to the uh, NES game than the arcade original. On October 19, 2007, Capcom also announced a new Bionic Commando game for the PlayStation 3, the PC and the Xbox 360. This new game is being made by Swedish developer Grin and looks to feature gameplay inspired by the NES installment, again not by the arcade. On January 16th, 2008, Capcom again re announced a remake of the NES installment, again uh, titled Bionic Commando Rearmed, as I mentioned earlier, for PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade, and is scheduled to be released this spring. Though the, protagon the protagonist varies depending on the game, the most famous is Rad Spencer from the original NES Game Boy and the 7th generation console installments. All protagonists in the game series are soldiers equipped with a huge bionic arm featuring a grappling gun, allowing the protagonist to pull himself forward or swing from ceilings. The series is most notable for being one of the few instances of a platform game in which the player cannot jump to cross gaps or to climb up ledges. The hero must use his bionic arm as a result. Now, the original 1987 arcade game uh, installment consists of the Commando Super Joe, the hero from Commando and Speed Rumble, who transverses through five levels from a forest to a, to a base in order to stop a threatening armed force. The levels themselves, like any conventional platformer, are straightforward with many situations in which there are enemies and other dangers lurking, while at the same time there are cliffs that must be passed through, etc, etc, etc. Prizes like points and power-ups can only be obtained from crates that come on screen and in the form, you know, drop down from a bit like in a parachute, a bit like what they do in Worms, where you get little power-ups and stuff that drop down by the parachutes, uh, which can be revealed by shooting them. Unlike most of the later games, the player cannot use the arm and shoot the same uh, and shoot at the same time. The arm can, uh, the arm cannot be used in the air, and only the power power ups are weapon enhancements. This version was later compiled and released in the Capcom Classics Collection for the PS Portable, PlayStation Portable, and the PS2 and the original Xbox. For the computer ports, the home computer ports of the game. Uh, the 8-bit versions include uh, the Amstrad CPC-464, the C64 and the ZX Spectrum, and the 16-bit versions were on the Amiga and the ST. Generally received an average or decent review, apart from the ZX Spectrum version, which was uh, greeted by some critical praise. 
receiving uh, a 9 out of 10 and a 92% from the from the magazines Your Sinclair and Crash. Yes, anybody remember those of the mags? Mm. For the C64, there are two distinct versions. A US version by Capcom and a, US, a UK version by Software Creations. The UK Commodore 64 version seems to be the most well-received computer port though, while the US version is considered very, very poor. The music for the conversions was arranged by Tim Follin and has been considered to be of a high quality, uh, high quality credits, which is saying something. Again, credits are also given for, to Fulham's brother too, uh, but he only programmed a music player routine. The music uh, was originally composed by Harumi Fujita for the YM2151 arcade game sound chip. Tim Fullen rearranged the compu uh, original compositions and utilized the capabilities of the computer sound chips as well as uh, the music on the stage 4, which is mainly Fullen's own composition. The game music, sounds, and sounds very, uh, very, are very different on every machine due to, to the differences in the sound chips. The Amiga version, for example, features music that is based on the well chosen instrument samples, while the C64 version is a great example of utilizing the capabilities of the SID chip. The ST music is well done despite the limitations of the Yamaha 2149 sound chip. So, what have we got on this on this version? Yeah. And stage selections, for example. Another feature, original feature of Bionic Commando is that instead of moving in a straight path through the levels, the player can, uh, between levels, move around on a map-like screen. The player can move uh, his helicopter one space at a time between areas represented by numbers. Once, an, uh, uh, once above a number area, the player can either choose to play or move on to another area. The player has to uh, complete the current level in order to move on, although he can go back to the map by pressing either start, A, B, C, start, blah, 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 depending on what version you've got, of course. There is also uh, green enemy trucks on the map, and if the... Uh, player runs in between the icons, he will be forced into an overhead uh, battle, similar to the get previous game, Commando. Certain enemies cannot, can be defeated to get uh, extra continues. Some of these stages are neutral areas in which the player gets information as well as items that may be helpful in these areas, and it is forbidden to fire any weapon or, or the player will be attacked by a squadron until he or she leaves the stage. Uh, in 1999, under the license from Capcom, Nintendo developed and released a Game Boy Color game named Bionic Commando Elite Forces. Though it borrows some elements from its predecessors, it is a completely different game altogether, with a different plot. The characters, an un unnamed male or female commando, have, few more, uh, have a few more moves, such as the ability to climb down from platforms, there are some special features such as the ability to save the game via the battery pack on the Nintendo Game Boy Color, um, which has been known to introduce a game, uh, which was known also to introduce a game freezing bug, which was unfortunate for the uh, Game Boy version. Some shooting sequences and choice uh, and choice of protagonists also uh, the character sport uh, rotoscoped animation, similar to the uh, early 90s games like Prince of Persia and uh, you know Another World, Out of This World in some countries. So there, yeah, Bionic Commando for the Amiga, I hope you've enjoyed it. And now as a spe special added bonus, I'm going to show you two trailers that I've managed to acquire. One is for Bionic Commando Rearmed, which is the uh, remake for the Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, which will soon be available to download using your uh, Wii, uh, not your Wii points, <laughs> wrong console, my wife, one console, using your uh, obviously achievement points, uh, get Microsoft points, etc, 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 you can get this that, uh, soon, this will be out in spring of 2008. Following that, we're going to see these intro teaser trailer for the new 2008 sequel called Bionic Commando, uh, which is released on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, uh, Windows PC, and possibly the Nintendo Wii, and has been developed by Grin and published by Capcom, obviously. 
Little side note before we do go into those trailers is that in 2004, a previous remake of the original game was reported to be in the works by Capcom and Studio 8 to be released on PS2, but the project was abandoned when the studio closed in 2006. Little side note there, anyway. Anyway, Bionic Commando, and coming up for you now is the two trailers for the Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, as well as the new game coming out for the various platforms, including PC. So until next time, folks, it's been my one. Take it easy. Forces dormant since long. Awakening once again. Our towering pillars of steel and stone wiped out in the blink of an eye. I've been waiting for this day.
finally.